I'm Tim, welcome to Watch you Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Flyback Chronograph 45mm in polished stainless steel. This 50 Fathoms Chrono is, like all the watches showcased on our YouTube channel, actual inventory in stock and available for immediate purchase and delivery on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews of High Horology daily, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, since its rebirth as arguably the peak of the luxury dive watch market in 2007, the Blancpain 50 Fathoms has been, in my opinion, call me old-fashioned, the Cadillac of the dive watch market. A beautiful combination of vintage styling motifs and heritage with modern proportions and high horology quality, the 50 Fathoms is something like a grail watch to many enthusiasts of sports watches, and the chronograph with flyback complication, all the more so. Now you'll see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch pulls off a rare trick. This might be the most wearable 45 millimeter oversized sports watch you'll ever encounter. The key to that is exceptionally short lugs, and I mean really, really, really freaking short. Now, looking at the watch from this vantage point, you can see how Blancpain manages to preserve the essential look of the watch while keeping it wearable at a 45 millimeter size. The lugs flare outward and downward, but horizontally, you can see relative to the edge of the bezel, they hardly project outward at all. It's a trick Audemars Piguet and Hublot have long since figured out, and IWC arguably pioneered in the 1930s with the Portuguese. But what held true then holds true now and fits human forearms and anatomy just as well. Now the watch is thick. I'm not going to lie about that. 15 and a half millimeters, 16 millimeters thick. The watch stands tall and proud. And with a case that's a little bit of an inverted bowl or an inverted cone, it flares out wider at the top than at its base. So it's not a great candidate to ride beneath a dress cuff or really tight sleeve. What it is quite possibly, is the ultimate in fit and finish in the dive watch sector. And that's really thrown down the gauntlet because the modern high horology dive watch sector is a huge one. But let me elaborate. Now, ergonomics of the case aside, it sits flush, it sits small on the wrist for its size. The other highlight of the feel on the wrist is this extraordinary sailcloth strap that Blancpain provides. Now, it does have the phenomenal double advantage of being almost indestructible sailcloth synthetic textile on the top and a very supple natural rubber coated surface on the bottom. So soft, smooth, and secure against the skin thanks to the adhesion of the rubber. It's also almost unbelievably tough on the top side and that's true of both flanks. Blancpain fits the watch with a beautifully finished, gorgeous polished, double deployant clasp. It has a unique trick in that when closed, it keeps the low profile and classic look of a pin buckle, but not only is it deployant and doubly so for easy fit, but it's also a twin trigger release with the twin triggers cleverly integrated into the cross member of the buckle. This is what high horology is about, not just exotic movements, but a watch where every detail is finished with love, attention, care, and planning with an eye towards its effect on the coherence of the entire composition. And that's what Blancpain gives you with the 50 Fathoms. All aspects of the case are immaculately finished. The bezel likewise. The lugs retaining that rugged sailcloth are held in by hex screws. That's right, not spring bars. Screws are the toughest retaining method available. They are the strongest while not soldering the bars in entirely. So while it takes more time to remove them for your jeweler, what it means is that your dive watch is unlikely to ever wind up flying solo on the ocean floor. Whether you're jet skiing or diving hardcore, this watch is up to the task, and that's down to attention to detail in its construction. Now, aside from the finish of the case and the sturdiness of the strap, attachments, and buckle, the bottom line is that the finish and the luster the brilliance, the radiance of the modern 2007 to present 50 fathoms really expresses itself in the bezel and the dial. Now there's a couple of elements to that. Now as I turn the watch to the light, you'll notice just how extraordinary the interplay of the cambered sapphire capped bezel and the crystal at center become. This adds a look that's both vintage and completely alien to any other model line or any other reference in any other watchmaker's catalog. 
the 50 Fathoms, with its huge bezel in the modern era, has defined the look of the sapphire-capped bezel. The fact that there is such a differentiation between the surface of the cap of the bezel and the crystal at center creates this knuckle, reminiscent of the original bakelite covered be bezels that were fitted to the 1950s, 60s, and 70s original. It's as scratch proof on the bezel as it is on the crystal. So if you're familiar with the scratch resistance of sapphire crystal, you get that same quality on the bezel. The lacquer beneath it shines, the crystal magnifies it, and the protection of the sapphire allows the entire bezel itself to be loomed. So it glows brilliantly at night. And in fact, I'm going to pull one of those loom tricks and see if I can show you how this one glows. Because the look of a fully illuminated dive watch dial is one thing, and we're familiar with that, but to see the bezel in addition is singular. Not completely unprecedented, but the look of a 50 fathoms is something extraordinary that has to be seen rather than described. Bear with me. That's what I'm talking about full-blown blowtorch. We're talking Panerai Plus. So you can use this watch at night. You can turn the bezel, you can line it up with the minute hand, and you can get the benefit of that zero to 60 minute sort of impromptu analog chronograph, if you will. The glow of this watch will persist all night. This is not just super luminova, but the most radiant kind. It will retain its glow from dusk until dawn. Charge it up and you're good to go until dawn. This is an extraordinary look for any dive watch, and it adds an element of utility and usability that for a long time was almost exclusive to the 50 Fathoms. Now, while some have copied the loomed bezel look, the expense of creating that, cam that cambered sapphire and the lacquered bezel means that the exact look remains exclusive to Blancpain and the 50 Fathoms model. Coming back online here. Okay, so we, we return to the light, we delve back into the details of the dial. Now the dial beyond the bezel is a huge highlight on this watch because it represents the peak of finish. I would say it rivals the best from Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, and Vacheron Constantin in terms of finishing and overall quality. All of the elements are polished and applied white gold, so the numeral 12, all of the hour indices, the hands themselves, white gold, beautifully polished, fully loomed, very visible. The dial itself is lacquered, so it has a radiance that matches the shine of the bezel, that matches the shine of the case and the gold elements applied to the dial. Everything about this watch is reflective, bright, upbeat. This is not a watch inspired by the dour depths so much as the shine of the sun as you approach the surface. This is, for want of a better term, a watch with an upbeat disposition. It's got a fun-loving radiance to it and that's palpable in person. This is a watch that represents the best of the sports watch sector because it's all about having fun. It takes itself seriously, yes, but not a dour seriousness. This is a watch that wants to get out and play. And with the full flyback chronograph function, it'll give you more ways to play. Date window, full chronograph, with an integrated flyback so you can actually reset and restart with a single push of the reset trigger. It uses a Blancpain F185 caliber. This is based on the FPG 1185, originally developed by Blancpain's movement partner, FPG, back when the two were reviving the Blancpain brand during the 1980s. So designed for Blancpain, it continues as a hallmark of the brand to this day. Now, it's considered to be the sort of godfather of all modern chronograph movements in as much as it combined automatic winding with integrated construction, a vertical clutch for smooth engagement and accurate reset, and a traditional column wheel for crisp, tactile response. Now the nice thing about the vertical clutch is that because it eliminates the horizontal clutch drivetrain, you don't have a parallel train of wheels meshing and wearing down when the chronograph is running. So, the coupling allows the seconds hand at center to run continuously. So if you prefer to have center seconds instead of a small sub-seconds dial, you can just keep the chronograph running to no ill effect on the watch. 37 joules, 308 pieces, very thin and fine, though in an integrated chronograph and a complicated chronograph with a date, it's nevertheless thinner than a Rolex caliber 3135 time and date automatic. It is truly a high horology piece with finish to match, perlage, anglage, beautiful polished screw heads with camfered slots. No expense is spared in the construction of this watch internally and externally. And you can see 
The solid case back gives away the game. Anti-magnetic, so just like the original 1953 50 Fathoms, the father of all modern dive watches, this one features a soft iron shield around the movement to protect it from the flux of high-powered home electronics, computers, speaker, and stereo systems. This is a watch that blends the best of old and new in a package that's gorgeous, unique, and already being called a modern classic. Again, call me old-fashioned, but in my mind, I still consider the Cadillac to be the ultimate, and to me, the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Flyback Chronograph, 45 millimeters in polished stainless steel, is the Cadillac of chronograph dive watches.